before you talk about how to actually type fast you really need to focus on actually getting started type of keyboard it actually doesn't okay. matter at the beginning type slowly but really focus on so before starting anything i want to show you my own typing speed otherwise you will think i'm just bluffing around like blah 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 um, all these things so this is monkey type and let's go Uh, it is of about 57 word per minute with 95% of accuracy and it is almost close to 60 word per minute however this is actually my average typing speed the highest it have gone to 70 word per minute I, I guess so this typing speed actually helps me to complete up my web development projects and, and whatever coding that I am learning with um, it actually helps me a lot now if you are someone who is at really in worse condition 15 to 17 word per minute then these are some of the steps that i highly recommend you to follow with otherwise it will be completely hard for you if you don't get the proper direction with it these are my own personal steps that i have followed up when i have gone through the test typing learning process so at the very beginning at the very start just focus on remembering the keyboard layout let me show you over here uh, keyboard layout so if you just type over here keyboard layout so here you will be able to find this keyboard layout now this is one of the traditional way that i have followed up all i have taken is a paper and have drawn the entire keyboard layout like this sort of keyboard layout over here as you can see on my paper by using the pen or pencil or whatever and i did that two to three times a day each and every single day this is just for remembering the stuff like in exams how you remember the things you need to study the things and after that you need to write that's like whatever lessons that you have studied right and that is how you will be able to remember that thing right so the same technique i have gone through by using the pen and paper just draw it by your own hand okay by your like this hand just draw it down two to three times every single day like at the morning afternoon evening or if you want to go through it night then it is far more better otherwise you will not be able to remember your keyboard layout because if you don't remember the keys it will be very much hard for you to actually you know, you know get a hold of it and i hope you are able to understand this step one in step two you have positioning of your finger you need to take an actual keyboard over here now you may ask that what kind of keyboard that i will prefer at this point then it is highly recommended to have a mechanical keyboard however it is a bit of expensive so actually type of keyboard it actually doesn't matter initially just get started it doesn't matter that what kind of keyboard that you have it may be a normal keyboard it may be a laptop keyboard it may be a, any sort of keyboard like the normal typing keyboard um you can go with acer you can go with hp you can go with any any company keyboard just get started just don't let the keyboard quality affect your uh, like your clarity on learning okay initially just focus on learning so after you have done remembering the keyboard layout now it is time to position your fingers like you have 10 first fingers right you have 10 fingers and you really need to position these 10 fingers now how you will be able to position your fingers let me show you finger position here you will be able to find a multiple visual images of it so if you see this image will make a very complete sense over here you need to focus on asdf okay asdf and you have jk L and this semicolon by using these four fingers one two three four you will be controlling f d s a and j k l as semicolon 
here you will be using both of your thumb finger at your space as you can see over here here it is written all right now as you can see this green thing like by using the index finger you will be controlling all these like four and five r and t then f and g then v and b okay v and b now all this keyboard layout is sim in each and every single keyboard that is present in this entire earth and so that is the very first reason that i have i have told you that to remember the keyboard layout that is actually use pen and paper to remember the keyboard layout to remember the key keys actually the keys okay where the placement where the placement is done now here is the question as a beginner how you will be able to remember that your both of these two fingers are in f and j how you will be able to remember it if you put your index finger on f and j okay f and j key you will be finding over here a bit of bump okay a bit of bump over here and when you will place your finger on the keyboard you will be feeling that bump and when you get that stimulus inside your brain you will automatically realize that okay these are the keys that i want to place my this four four fingers so these two are very much important this f and j because depending on this f and j your all these key layouts will get controlled so just go and check out this visual images it is not like so much rocket science over here it is very much simple this is the exact image that i have followed up at the very beginning and it actually helped me a lot now how you will be able to position your fingers just don't look at the keyboard and without looking at the keyboard and with remembering the visual image just position your finger and after that just try to type that is the combination of these two steps okay here is the third step that you need to follow after you go through this step one and step two i want you to focus really focus on the accuracy because after step one and step two you will get a hold of your keyboard let me tell you what do i actually mean by that here instead of there and here instead of fact if you just type something else so this is the wrong word over here so you need to avoid this mistake now here's the thing that is actually going on most of the people want to type fast and in the process of typing fast they forget accuracy like you have this fact now you need to um, delete this fact first and once again you need to type it this habit of typing the wrong word again and again you need to go through deleting this entire word and after that you need to write the correct word it will be completely messed up basically you will not be able to type fast at the beginning type slowly but really focus on accuracy the step four that i want you to follow is calculated practices now this is the mistake that i have done previously i used to think i need to really implant four to five hours for increasing my typing speed every single day but this is actually not the case at all it is basically like using 45 minutes at the morning evening and before you go to bed every single day like why 45 minutes maximum one hour this is a step-by-step -step learning process you are doing it for rest of your life so you really need to decrease your time and increase your focus at this point calculated practice so what do i actually mean by that that is um instead of just focusing on four to five hours of practicing session i want you to focus on 45 minutes at the morning evening and before you get to bed that will be very much enough for you for getting one person better every single day in the field of touch typing it will be a basically a small step that you you will be taking for increasing your typing speed okay so here is the thing where you will be practicing i recommend two websites the first one is monkey type now why monkey type because this monkey type website will really help you to like how you are actually typing at what speed that you are actually typing and it will actually give you the proper details of how your actually your typing speed looks like and the second website that i recommend you to follow the 10 first fingers this is the interface of 10 first fingers both of the links will be in the description you don't need to worry about it the very initial step which is uh, you can set your typing speed over here key benefit of using 10 first finger over here that is you have custom typing test like you will be able to customize your typing 
okay customize your typing you will also be going through some sort of like the competition part however i actually don't use it this competition mode like it will be very much helpful if you really want to level up your typing speed at the very initial stage i highly recommend you to go through monkey type okay monkey type and after that 10 first fingers and it will be completely helpful for you my personal recommendation step that i personally use every single day even right now so this step five is my personal recommendation that is to journal what you have inside your mind what basically we used to do we used to take our notebook and inside this notebook whatever thing that we have inside of our mind we used to write it down just like that you can use notion or you can use any sort of like you have your notepad just to write whatever thing that you have inside your inside of your mind like if you want to write any sort of thing like essay or any sort of thing like whatever thing that you have inside of your mind just write it down and trust me it will actually help you to remember all these keys increase your clarity while remembering all these keys so this is the step five i want you to follow and it will completely change your entire typing experience over here just don't get desperate okay just don't get desperate because if you get desperate like why my typing speed is not increasing or, or something like that then it will be you will be ending up burning your brain just do it for very less time every single day do it happily with a very satisfying and happy mind and i promise you you'll your result will be very much significantly higher thank you so much for watching this video if you love this video then make sure to like and subscribe Hit that bell icon for getting more and more important video updates and I will see you next time.